Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I'm using my Fine Edge Osti Cell. Now, this was made in New York City in 1920. It is all original. That is Sologen German Steel and it is a full hollow just a fine razor really is and i'm telling you some of these uh, vintage razors if they've been around for a while like a hundred years or more they are good razors or they wouldn't have made it that long now for my soap tonight here we go this is stash soap works and that is sunday morning yep this is uh just a marvelous, very complex scent, uh, but basically it's got tobacco on the top and uh, some citrusy notes in there, some patchouli, some leather. Just, it's just marvelous, it really is. And I have had that blooming. We're gonna pour that off and put it on as a pre-shave. Yep, all right, now. Oh yeah, nice. That is really nice. Yeah, just work that in really good. And now we get our hands clean and dried off. All right, and here you go. This is my brush tonight. This is from Maddie Lindholm. This is handmade, hand turned. That is oak and it is just marvelous. This has got a 24 millimeter synthetic knot and a really good brush. Fantastic job, Maddie. Now, since it is a synthetic, it didn't have to be soaking. This is a splash and go. So let's go ahead, just get that a little wet and load it up. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. So here we go. Hopefully you're being able to relax and enjoy, be with family and friends, yeah. Have some downtime, yeah, always good. And hopefully you're getting some good weather. Yeah, you know, here the other day, I told you that we weren't going to get any more snow well we did get some snow uh, last Thursday all right but it didn't stick and it, it uh, no big deal okay although last Thursday I think the high was maybe 31 degrees so that's just doesn't sound too summery <laughs> but it's okay it's all good and Everything else is picking up and growing and looking good. All right. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. There you go, look at that. All right, now I'm gonna get around the outside of that and try to get around on the inside of that. We're gonna put some of that on the brush because there's a bit there. And let's see if I can do it. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna put that on the face. I got some more in there that we could get. There you go, there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Now we're just gonna massage that in. Again, this is beard prep. Yeah, it is. And if you haven't tried this, you ought to give it a go. This works really well. Yeah, it does. Get those whiskers ready to shave. And you're going to be using the same soap anyway to shave. So if you like that soap, this can just help the enjoyment. Yeah. And I'm all for enjoying something like a good shave. Yeah. 
Yeah, so hopefully you are in high spirits, the world's treating you good, and you're feeling well. Yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully you're also getting some good chase. Let's get our lather on. Yep. Yeah, our son came home this last week. It's my daughter's birthday, which is marvelous. So he came home for that and they really get along well and have a great time together. That is so good. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. I'm going to get some more water on that. I'm going to clean that off so I can still talk. There we go. Yeah. So, hopefully, you're getting some spring where you are. Unless you're in that part of the world where it's turning to be winter. Yep. But it's all good. I actually like all of the seasons. I don't really have, wow, look at that thick lather. That's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I don't have a, a actual favorite per se. Um, maybe, maybe my favorite is actually fall. Yeah, although I enjoy all the seasons. So for me, it really, isn't a big deal. I just, I enjoy them all. So it's great when we have changes of seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so where you are, do your seasons change? Yeah. I know if you're like in Southern California or something like that, I, I'm assuming there's a little change, but uh, I think most of the year it's going to be pretty nice where, you know, you're not going to get that snow and things like that. All right, here we go. This is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. And there's some soap right there. <laughs> nice. Gonna get that. Yeah, stretching with that off hand. There we go. Now, I'm gonna get underneath that mustache area and we're gonna come in and scoop down, okay? Looking for that 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. It's very important that you get a shallow angle. Get the most shallow angle as you can. And I think that will help in that area.
All right, looking good. Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah. Now, get this section. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that is good. Now here, uh, this last week, Chris at IMCDB, he did a one year uh, kind of collective straight razor shave and he had a lot of good points in shaving so you can always check that out i'll go ahead and have a link to that video in the description and you can hear his perspective on straight razor shaving yep Yeah, now he doesn't always shave with a straight razor, but he has done quite a few straight razor shaves and shavette shaves. So he has he has some good information there. So you can check that out. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Oh, that feels good. Now, get over here. All right, there you go. Pass one complete. And it felt pretty good, it did. Now, let's see how we're doing. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I'll tell you what, that fine edge Ostiso is a good shaver. Yeah, it is. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And this soap, super slick. Really easy to lather, yeah. There we go. Now, let's get our lather on, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe Erica makes this soap anymore. If anyone knows, let us know down in the comments because she really made some fine soaps and like i say her soaps tend to be uh, 
really complex as far as the scent and uh, really do a fine job shaving with them. Now it's been a while since uh, I have shaved with them, but you see what's going on here and this is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, a lot of my good soaps and favorite soaps, at this point, the artisan is not making them anymore. And they don't make soap at all. So, you know, that's too bad. Really a loss to the community as a whole. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, buddy. Good lather. It really is. And really got a marvelous scent as well. All right. Here we go. This is pass two. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck and my cheeks. Now, on each side, that is going to end up being across the grain. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Get that blade cleaned off. Now, here we go. All right, nice. Now, while I'm thinking about it, like this video if you liked it or you found it helpful. It will help me be more discoverable on YouTube and we can have more friends, yeah. So just go ahead and hit that like button for me and that would be great, yeah. Now I've got that razor almost completely vertical. It's just about flat on my skin. And that's what I found works the best on against the grain. Now, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and go against the grain on that cheek. Nice.
There we go. All right. Now we're going to get that blade cleaned off. And we're going to get this other side. Now I am switching hands as well. So pay attention to that. If you can learn to do that right from the beginning, you will be able to get a better shave and it'll be much more convenient than a one-handed shave. There we go. Nice. Oh, that is good. Yep, feeling good. Now we're going to come in across the grain on that mustache area. There we go. Yeah, coming in across the grain in that area, I've found to be uh, much easier to do and it does a fine job. So for me, it works. Mm -hmm. You can give it a try, see if it works for you. Yeah. Now, here we go. Let's see how we did. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Cheeks are brilliant right where they are. Oh, that works. That works. Yeah, I just do a with the grain pass and then against the grain pass and my cheeks are done. Mm-hmm. Yep, works like a champ. Yes, it does. Now, let's get our lather on again. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And this really has a wonderful scent. It does. That is so good. We're gonna just put a little water in that. Nice. Okay. Now, here we go. Time for the half pass. Now, for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Let's do this. reaching down there on that jawline to stretch further down my neck and jaw. Mm-hmm.
There we go. Nice. Now, we're going to switch hands. I'm going to get this other side. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff. Now, get this side. All right, another shave in the books. Yeah. Very good. Now, I'm thinking we're in pretty good shape. I am. You know. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Excellent. And there were no bumps harmed in the filming of the shave video. I'm still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic. It will take care of those little bumps if you hit them, but it will also tighten that skin and close those pores. Yeah. So this is my practice. I will use the alum every shave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and that's good. Yeah, it is. Now, take this little towel. Just pat that dry, just like that. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with the cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going Thayer's Lemon. This is lemonade for the face. This is so good, it really is. And if you like the scent of lemon, this would be a nice one for you. Yes, it would. And we'd put that on. Mm. Fantastic scent. Put that on and that will start taking care of that skin right off the bat after a good straight razor shave. Mm-hmm, nice. Now, here we go. We're gonna follow that with Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm. This stuff is gonna help get the moisture back in where the which hazel actually helps kind of get the red out. If you get a kind of a red face, I do sometimes. You know, different areas and things like that of my face kind of get red. And it's not like they're, you know, irritated or anything. It just happens. Yep. Now, we are following that with Tobacco Original. Oh yeah. This soap has a top note of tobacco. So we're going to go with some of this. And I think it's going to work fine. Yeah. Mmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see my review on the Imperia La Roca Premium Strop. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.